hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you want to know how to get a good silk press on natural hair just like that y'all then just keep watching girl okay so the first thing we started off with was a wash y'all my hair was so freaking dirty i hadn't got my hair washed in like a couple months like it was bad but we started off with the wash of course she used a sulfate free shampoo the one that's in the video right there She got in there real good, y'all. Massage my scalp, make sure every part of my scalp was covered in shampoo, which I loved, okay? And that just felt so freaking good. Oh my God. At this point, she started rinsing out all of the shampoo, getting all of that out of there so that we could prepare for the next round of shampoo. We did go in with another round because my hair was so dirty, like I said before, and she just wanted to make sure all of that was out. Now, after the washing condition, this was the state of my hair, y'all, and it was time to get into the next step, which was step two, section and detangle, of course. So y'all could see her in the back putting the tangler in her hands, and she was just applying that to my hair, y'all, in the different sections. And I really appreciated her wiping that water off the side of my face, because if you're like me, then you hate water dripping down your face. So she finished up this section and was just about to continue doing the rest of my head and separating it into four different sections. So at this point, she had finished separating my hair and had just took the bottom section and made sure that it was detangled so that we could prepare for step three, which is the blow dry part. And make sure you apply heat protectant. She did apply heat protectant, so make sure you put that on your hair before you apply any heat to your hair because you do not want heat damage. And as you can see, she's going over the hair a couple times to make sure that it's straight and stretched to the best of its ability because you want to make sure the hair is completely dry and straightened. Because I do remember her saying that the key to a good silk press is a good blow dry. So make sure you take that blow drying part very serious, okay? So as y'all can see, my hair is completely blown out. And if y'all look closely, you can see how flat and straight my blow dry is. So that's really the key to a good silk press. So right here, y'all, she's sectioning my hair off, getting me ready for the flat iron part. And she's just making sure that she has everything parted and sectioned and easy for her to manage while she's flat ironing. So as y'all can see, we've made it to step three. And this is when it's time to apply the heat and actually flat iron the hair. So as y'all can see, she's using the smaller flat iron to really get the root of my hair and keep from burning me. Y'all probably see me holding my ear. I didn't have to do that, but it just makes me more comfortable and it makes me feel better because y'all, I'm so traumatized from getting burned. Like, it's crazy.
So right here, she's making sure to get my edges with the smaller flat iron so that they can be straight and lay down when it's time for her to swoop them back. And now my hair is all flat ironed, it's straight, and it looks so good. Look at that, bone straight. Now she's parting my hair, and I'm giving the side part, as y'all can see, because I just feel like that's what I needed at the moment. And now we're getting into step four, which is the styling portion. And I was getting curls, so she's curling my hair now. And we're just gonna get curled all over my head. So after she finished curling each section and pinning it up, she's now taking it down and getting ready to comb my hair down. So right here, she's making sure my part is still intact, making sure it's still clean and straight and just everything is where it's supposed to be. And now she's getting ready to comb my curls as y'all can see her doing. And she's just making sure everything is laying properly where it needs to lay, okay? And y'all see how that's falling in my face? Like, look how effortless that looks. Like, just look at the bounce and the volume and everything else. It looks so good. I do rather my edges a little bit fluffy and not so put together, if you may. So she's just applying a little bit of wax there on my hair to make sure the flyaways are sitting down and everything's just laying properly. And she's also gonna apply some wax to my edges because like I said, I don't like them stuck to my head. people really like this weather real especially so that's it you guys i hope y'all enjoyed and if you want to hear some tips and tricks on how i grew my hair just keep watching okay so y'all today is the next day and i didn't even get a chance to do like the little tips part or whatever so i'm gonna do it now so before we even like you know start off or whatever i just want to say i am in no way shape or form a hairdresser um i am not a hairstylist i don't have a license nothing like that so all of this stuff that i'm saying all of these tips i'm giving like recommendations stuff like that it's just because that's what worked for me and y'all know everybody's hair is different okay everybody's hair is different so just some stuff may work for me it may not work for you some stuff that may work for you may not work for me and that's perfectly fine because we're different so let's get into it so i got the stuff on my phone or whatever the little um tips in my notes so i'm just gonna go i may look at my phone y'all see me looking at my phone that's what i'm looking at so yeah we're gonna make this fast it's not gonna be no super long video hey wait i'm just gonna give y'all a little backstory or whatever so let's just start off with a backstory first and then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and everything like that that. So starting off, I used to get relaxes. I got perms or whatever. And sorry if y'all hear the rain, it's raining. I used to get perms and then I stopped in like, I think during COVID. So I stopped in 2021. I think it was the summer of 2021. I stopped getting perms. So my hair would like grow out and stuff. And I was like natural at the top and my ends were like relaxed or whatever. Y'all know. I didn't even do the big chop on it at that time. My hair was grown out. I really don't remember the timeline, but I'll insert a picture. I'll insert some pictures to show y'all like my hair if I got some still. I don't know y'all. So months to go by, each each time I would wash my hair, my mom would trim some off. So she would trim the relaxed pieces off of my hair every time I would wash my hair. So yeah, she would trim off as we go. So then one time, we was just like, I got so much natural at the top and these ends, let's just trim all the perm ends off. So she just trimmed it all up. And I'm gonna show y'all a picture of how my hair, how much my hair had grown out by then. And that was only like some months. Like this picture right here, it was only some months. 
my hair grow pretty fast anyway so like i don't really be tripping when my mom be cutting stuff off because i know it's gonna come right back that was my hair after some months so after that i would just and y'all this whole time i was like you know transitioning and stuff like that i would wear like wigs i would have my hair braided down under a wig or i maybe gotten braids like one or two times i don't really know i'm not a really big fan of braids so i try to stay away from them but but i mostly wear wigs and that's why my edges was depleting as y'all can see they're trying to come back right now but my edges was gone y'all like i didn't have no edges at all literally none because of the frontals i was a frontal girl and y'all know the frontals be tearing your edges out it don't happen to everybody like i said because i did used to be pulling my wigs off so i mean how would i expect to have edges when i'm pulling the lace off of my hair and i was one of those girls who would like to take her wig off before it was even time but whatever i haven't worn wigs since june and it's october so I'm trying to get our edges back and i've been feeling my real hair anyway lately but that's besides the point okay so yeah y'all i was just getting protective styles like wearing wigs stuff like that when i was doing that i would keep my hair all down and i'm not even gonna sit up here and lie and say like i've been washing my hair i'll be washing my hair and stuff like that y'all i will wash my hair probably like this is probably gonna be so bad so don't do what i do y'all but i'll probably wash my hair like once every two months it ain't no shame in my game. That's what I used to do. But yeah, my hair just growing, 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 growing. So this past summer, July 2023, I was in Atlanta and I went to this natural stylist who specialized in like natural hair. So she actually like treated my hair. She gave me this um steam treatment and stuff like that. And like she like diagnosed like my hair, like what was my problem. And then she was telling me like about my edges and how she could see like my hairline and like how my edges was just leaving and how the frontals had just ate them up like they literally ate them up so it's just like yeah you might want to stop now or your hairline will be like you'll have a receding hairline and y'all that's all she had to say to me because it's not no i am not i am not and like y'all i never was a girl who had so much edges i just had enough like I was never the girl who had a lot of edges though, so I ain't even finna sit up here and lie like I did, cause I never did. My edges were always very fragile, very thin, like, I don't know. That's when I got my first soup press done by her, and I hadn't had a soup press in a little minute. So when I got that soup press, I was super excited. That vlog is on my channel. But yeah, so, and this year I trimmed my hair. <clears throat> I just got another soup press. It was probably two vlogs ago, last vlog, I don't know, but I got a soup press in that vlog. By a girl in Baton Rouge and y'all my hair had grew so much like just from that trim in July and I got this soup press in September my hair had literally grown so freaking much so, and I'm just trying to take care of my natural hair now so that was just a little backstory of like my hair my hair journey and stuff like that I'll probably do a more in-depth video but that's just what I can remember right now and I didn't go through any pictures or nothing so I don't really I'm just going off the dome right now. So, yeah. It just get hard sometimes. And then I'm not a girl who loves the puffs and the twist outs and stuff like that. I don't like that. I like straight hair on me. I don't like poofy hair on me. I'm sorry. I just don't. Like, it's no offense to the girls who like that. I just feel like that's not for me. So, let's get into the tips and stuff and, like, the recommendations I have. Y'all probably heard this a thousand times, but I'm just letting y'all know what work for me. The first one I got is please get your trims. Please get your trim draw because... I'm telling you, that trim I got in July grew my hair so much. And before that, I was barely getting trimmed. I'm not even gonna lie. I really was. I don't know how often you're supposed to get them, but my hairstylist told me at least two to three times a year. The next tip I have is to use a sulfate-free shampoo. So when I would wash my hair, I would use Aussie, OC, whatever, however you say it. I say Aussie. I would use Aussie, and it would make my hair feel really soft. And usually my hair, I'll be like, really brittle and like hard and just i don't know but also will make my hair feel soft and i don't even know if that's really good for your hair that's just what i use like i said y'all this is just me this is just me i just use that next up is to deep condition your hair i would deep condition my hair like i said i only wash it like every two months so whenever i washed it i would deep condition it before another thing is to avoid putting so much heat on your hair like i know i've been getting my soup presses and stuff but after like this wear out or whatever i'm just gonna have to deal with it in its form that it's in because i'm not gonna keep putting that heat on my hair and break my hair off because i'm not trying to go back to that at all so don't put so much heat on your hair if you don't have to if you do put heat on your hair use the heat protecting y'all use the heat protecting i know people be like they don't care and stuff like that because that's me i don't be caring but i still use heat protecting because 
like I said, I'm not trying to break my hair off. So use heat protectant for sure and avoid putting heat on your hair. I really can't think of like anything else. I would say though, I always tie and wrap my hair up every night, no matter if I have a style freshly done or a style period, I still wrap my hair up. And that's just, that's just been me. I always did that. I always slept with a bonnet and wrap my hair up. They do say to use satin scarves. So I would recommend doing that. Yeah, that's not really a big thing for me, but I know a lot of people just get in the bed you know and just go to bed but i don't like hair touching the pillow or i don't like my hair out when i sleep anyway because i just i don't know i just don't like this so i always wear my hair up anyway so yeah wrap your hair up tie your hair up at night the last thing for me is that i really have to learn that my mom always told me that though but when you comb your hair out use a wide tooth comb do not try to comb your hair out with no red tail i know it might sound crazy and like common sense but i was the girl combing her hair out with a red tail like why are you even doing that you're gonna lose so much hair that way and i know you're supposed to lose hair and shed hair anyway but you're gonna lose and shed so much more with a red tooth comb like no do not comb your hair out with no red tooth comb use a wide tooth comb but that's basically it for like my um hair tips or whatever i don't really have many because like i said i'm not a stylist or i don't really know what's best i'm just telling y'all what work for me and i'm gonna show y'all before and after of like my hair i'll show y'all that now that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video